Nabila is a young woman living in Mali. She grew up with six siblings. To escape from poverty, her parents married her off when she was 15 years old. A year later, her daughter Aziza was born. Nabila could not decide at the time whether she wanted to have a child and from whom. The example of the young woman shows us that women and girls worldwide are still exposed to various forms of discrimination and violence. To strengthen their sexual and reproductive health and rights, we have joined forces to form the Gender Equality and Health Alliance. We, that is, three Swiss non-governmental organisations, Yamane Switzerland, Médecins du Monde Suisse and Women's Hope International. We are active in 19 partner countries in a variety of areas. One of our key objectives is to reduce high maternal and child mortality rates and to reduce teenage pregnancies, as in the case of Nabila. Millions of girls around the world feel the same way. In some countries, one in six girls becomes a mother at the age of 17 or younger. The root causes are complex. That is why we are pursuing various approaches here, as in our other working areas. For example, women learn how to manufacture and market a product. Thanks to their own income, mothers have less pressure to marry off their daughters due to financial issues. In some projects, we promote education for girls, for example, by paying their school fees. If girls attend school, they have better career prospects and are less likely to be married off as children. We organize sex education in schools and improve access to contraceptives. In this way, we ensure that young people can make well-informed decisions. Often, young girls' bodies are particularly challenged during childbirth. That is why we enable the training of medical personnel they then accompany births competently and thus save lives. We develop all our solutions in partnership with local communities. We are convinced that local people know best what they need and how to get there. We support them on their way. In addition, we aim to ensure that policies and laws also change. It will enable us to improve the rights and health of girls and women in the long term. This will bring us one step closer to our vision of a gender equal world. A world free of discrimination and violence.